Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got some TikTok growth hacks for you, and I'm gonna be sharing some of the biggest mistakes that new TikTok creators are making. So let's get right into it. TikTok. When you say TikTok, people think accounts blowing up overnight. TikTok is the only platform that your account can actually grow overnight. TikTok is the only platform where there's such explosive growth. Nowhere else, no Instagram, no Facebook, no YouTube will allow for this kind of explosive growth. And there's a lot of creators out there actually taking so much advantage of this and growing their accounts really, really quickly. However, there's a lot of mistakes that new creators are making that's actually hampering them. Now everybody wants to grow on TikTok. And that's why I made this video for you guys because there are a lot of creators out there making some big mistakes, things that you should avoid and that's really gonna help you explode and really accelerate your TikTok account. Stay tuned because I'm gonna guide you through some of the pitfalls and some of the mistakes that new creators are making and help you guys to avoid that so that you can get the maximum benefit out of each and every one of your TikTok posts, guys. So let's head on into the other room and let's get onto it. Follow party, how about no? Follow parties, follow for follow, follow me, I'll follow you back. Avoid, avoid, avoid. If you're looking for true growth over an extended period of time, follow for follow, follow parties are not good for your account. It's gonna hamper your account in the long run. And let me explain this to you. Your FYP is a combination of people that you follow and people that you are not following. How it actually works is when you launch a new video on TikTok, they will send it out to a small group of your followers and see how they actually react to that video. They will take a few factors into consideration, including one of the most important watch time. So when people are scrolling past your videos, that is telling the algorithm that your video is no good or it doesn't interest that particular person. As you've just been on a follow for follow, you've gained a whole bunch of followers, you're now launching your videos and it's been shown on those new followers FYP. Unfortunately, most of the time, a lot of those followers are not actually interested in your content. They were just interested in the follow. So when your video comes up on the FYP, they're just scrolling past and that is actually going to hurt you. It's going to tell the algorithm that these people aren't interested in your TikTok and that your video is not good. How TikTok works is it shows it to a few people and depending on the response rate, depending on the engagement, it will then show it to a bigger group of people and a bigger group and a bigger group. If that initial group has not liked your video, has not watched it all the way through or left a comment, unfortunately your video is not going to do well at all. And that's the biggest problem with follow for follow. You're following these people, you're not really interested in their content, they're not interested in your content. All the follow for follow has helped is to get that extra number. To get those numbers artificially inflated, your engagement rate is going down and it's actually hurting your TikToks. People should be following you and you should be following other people not because of follow for a follow, but because you enjoy the video, you enjoy their content, you enjoy engaging with it. By gaining followers because they've liked your video, you know that that follower, when your video comes on their FYP, there's a high, high chance that, first of all, they're gonna like your video, they're gonna watch your video all the way through, and they're probably gonna engage with it as well by leaving a comment. So that is the best way of getting new followers. Follow for follow guys, stay away from it. Now, while I'm talking about comments and likes and all of that, the next big mistake that a lot of new creators are making that's hampering their growth is by not engaging in their content. They're not liking people's comments, they're not responding to people's comments. And I always tell my followers, I always tell people when I go live, it's all about them. It's not about me as the creator. It's all about them. It's all about you guys. You guys leaving comments down on my YouTube video. I always try to reply to each and every comment or at least give it a thumbs up. In the case of TikTok, giving it a like. 
Guys, it's so important you have to engage with your audience in order to build a solid foundation and grow that audience. So a big, big, big mistake creators are doing is not responding to comments. And I know sometimes you get a viral video, there's hundreds and hundreds of comments that you have to go through, that you have to respond to, but you decided to take on it. And if you want to do pro something properly, and if you want to become successful at it, then you have to go in it all the way. It doesn't help responding to one or two comments and then ignoring the rest. You guys are losing a big potential. I've had videos that I've posted on TikTok that have got a lot of engagement on, that people have commented on my videos and haven't followed me. And after I respond to their comments or like their comments, I actually see that follow then comes. So it is so, so important that you guys engage with your audience, respond to comments, like comments, and become a part of it. My next one on the list, and this is a great feature that TikTok has brought out, and that's going live, guys. Going live, and I know not everybody is a live kind of person, but going live, engaging with your audience, can actually accelerate the growth of your account. It can accelerate your video views, it can accelerate your followers as well. Going live is actually such a great way of just displaying the person behind the scenes you know for me i make a lot of comedy videos and i just like to show my real personality when i go live so that people can see who i am and meet me and it's always nice when people comment and say hey i watched your video i like it so much and to get to know your audience and to get to know your community just like what i said in the previous tip you have to reply to comments you have to go live to engage with your community. It's such a powerful tool that TikTok has brought for us, guys. So don't underestimate the power of going live. Go live as often as you can and just get engaged with your audience, you guys. Let's talk trends now. Trends, trends, trends on TikTok. Trends do not mean copying a video that you've just seen, doing exactly the same thing and expecting the same results. You know, often we see a trend and we see, ah, oh, 2.1 million likes. I'm going to do this trend exactly the same and I'm going to get 2.1 million likes as well. It doesn't work like that. Trends are so awesome. But the big secret about this, you guys, is actually putting your own spin on it, putting your unique spin on it, making it unique. TikTok loves uniqueness. Use the trend, but put your own unique spin on it. You know, whether you're doing a dance, you know, just have something cool in the background, something interesting, a talking point. Whether you're doing a voiceover, a lip sync, just make it really funny, make it really interesting. Just put your own little spin on it, guys. But doing trends is very, very powerful. Doing trends is such a great way to actually accelerate your account, but you have to do the trends in the right way, you guys. So don't underestimate the power of trends, but don't just do a copy and paste. Copy and paste, it's not gonna work. People, you know, you guys have been on TikTok, you see those copy and paste, and you guys are swiping through. So what makes you think that the others aren't gonna just swipe past your video as well? Awesome. This is a big one. I, I'm always telling people, you gotta be consistent. You gotta be consistent. The algorithm loves consistency, you guys. Consistency is the key to good growth on TikTok. Now, what do I mean by consistency? I don't mean posting 20 times a day. Yes, I've given some tips to new TikTokers to grow quickly. They should be posting between five to seven times per day. But once you've reached that threshold of a thousand viewers or that threshold of a thousand followers, all you have to do is just be consistent. Two to three times a day should be enough just to keep the algorithm going for you and just to keep those people who have followed you engaged and to let them know that you are there for them because they followed you for a reason. They want to see your content. Now, if you're not making content two, three days in a row and then you make a video and then they don't see you for another week, the algorithm does not like that and your followers 
don't like that too. We all want to see our favorite creators every single day when we go on TikTok. We want to swipe through. We want to see some new stuff and we want to see our favorite creators and what they were up to and what new TikToks they've made. That's why consistency is so key, you guys. Don't underestimate the power of consistency. Just do two to three TikToks every single day, but be consistent every single day. Make a TikTok, make your time for TikToks. I know there's a couple of creators out there and this is a good hack because we don't always have all the time in the world every single day to make TikToks. What a lot of other creators do is they make a lot of TikToks on one or two days of the week and then they actually schedule them so that at least a few TikToks are going out every single day and that's how they stay consistent on the platform. The algorithm loves consistency, you guys. So stay consistent. <laughs> all this talking is making me thirsty. But I hope you guys are getting value out of this. And if you are, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Obviously, give the video a thumbs up. All right. Okay, cool. Um, it's time for something to drink. Mm. And moving on to the next part of it. A lot of TikTokers ask me, Mark, why are my videos doing so badly? Why aren't I getting a lot of views? And the algorithm will determine the amount of views you get on your videos by the number one thing, watch time, you guys. Watch time is so important. Remember, TikTok wants to keep people on the platform for as long as possible. And by keeping people on the platform, if you're making interesting content and people are watching your videos all the way through, TikTok is going to love you and they're going to show your videos to more people because they see that people find it interesting. So watch time is so, so important on TikTok. If people are watching your videos all the way through or at least 50 to 75% through you guys, then your videos are gonna do well. So you have to concentrate on watch time. It is really difficult to keep people engaged for an extended period of time, especially on TikTok. That's why I always advise new TikTokers to create shorter videos. Don't go for a minute, don't go for three minutes. People are getting bored so quickly. And if your video isn't capturing your audience attention within the first three to five seconds, guys, they swiping past, you know it because you do it yourself. If you don't get that hook, you've got to grab their attention, guys, and then you've got to keep them there. But don't make your videos too long. Watch time is so, so, so important. So that's just a golden nugget for you guys. Now remember, I said in the beginning that TikTok is one of the fastest growing platforms and the platform that allows its users to grow the fastest than on any other platform. However, I always like to say this, you gotta have patience with anything in life. If you wanna be successful, you got to have the patience to push through because maybe it's you and maybe your account is gonna grow slow. Maybe the algorithm just doesn't favor you or you haven't captured your niche or something like that and you grow slow. Don't be despondent. You have to just have patience. It will come. The key is consistency, you guys. Stay consistent. Do it every day. And if you're going to do it for the long run, you will ultimately be successful. So I really enjoyed sharing this information with you guys. And let me know what you thought about this video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, of course. And let me know what you think. And if you've got any ideas for future content, or if you've got some ideas surrounding TikTok, let me know and we can definitely make a plan and make another video. We'll see you guys next time, you guys. Take care. Cheers. Don't always, always... <laughs> if you're making... If you're making what, and then they actually, they actually, what do they do? They actually, um, that doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah.